certainly Bison Wind is the largest D3 site in the world. We have 85 D3 units currently producing 255 megawatts right here on the beautiful North Dakota Prairie. Since the 2012 project was complete on the first D3 project, uh, we've been maintaining 97 plus percent availability. The D3 is actually proving itself quite well. We chose the Siemens D3 technology for our Bison 2 and 3 projects because of the long-term affordability we saw in that product. It's, it's uh, very well engineered, well designed, eliminates the, uh, the concern about the gearbox in, in the design itself, and provides a long-term stable price for our customers over the long term. So we really think it's an important part of our strategy as we build our WIM portfolio. Late last year, Minnesota Power was recognized by its peers through Power Engineering as a WIND Project of the Year, which recognizes the Bison 2 and 3 project as being very innovative and both from the technology on the wind side, but also how we've coupled it with some transmission and some other arrangements we have with Hydro in Canada. It's basically for their collaboration on the wind uh, wire and waters project. Uh, wind from the, the Bison project using our D3 platform, uh, uh, wind energy could be stored in hydroelectric reserves in Canada with Manitoba Hydro, essentially providing a, bat a battery storage mechanism when the wind is high or the customer demand is low. We like to think of it as the holy grail of renewable energy, Canadian Hydro, Manitoba Hydro resources from the north, and uh, Siemens empowered North Dakota wind resources from the west. We're thrilled with the opportunity. The results for our customers are first rate, and uh, we're looking forward to a, a big future in this renewable space. We're very proud to introduce the D3 uh, operated 3.2113 in the United States to Minnesota Power. Uh, traditionally, they've had the D3 uh, 3.0101, and this year we've upgraded uh, this, this product, giving it an enhanced annual energy production of up to 4%. In the process of adding additional wind to our mix, we considered the direct drive machine, the 3.0 for Bison 2 and 3, now the 3.2 machine for uh, Bison 4, and we saw a steady progress on the Siemens front in terms of adding technology and adding more sophistication and more ability to extract more energy from, from the wind. And we, we like that aspect of the technology and that was why we selected it. What it translates to is a very competitively priced uh, renewable resource, which is what we're working towards in total for, for all of our customers. As we've enhanced the product, they've, they've uh, come along for the ride. And so we've now gone from the 30101 to the 32113. And then hopefully in the future, as we continue to enhance the D3 platform, we'll be working with Minnesota Power to place those turbines in, in North Dakota. Minnesota Power's investments in wind energy have brought a lot of value to our customers in terms of no emissions, in terms of low cost and high reliability that it brings to our power supply. It's been a great investment and we look forward to doing more wind development in the future.